Hey there! So, um, I've been kind of putting off showing what I've been building recently. Uh, mostly because I haven't had the time, or because I've been too bogged down with other projects, be it my work on the Love is Magic game, or school projects, that sort of thing. I'm actually supposed to be writing a 10-page uh, uh, screenplay right now for Friday, and it's Monday. Uh, you know how it is, you have all spring break to do it, and well, whatever, anyways. Um, but, uh, since I've been a little bit frustrated with the amount of clutter that's been in my room, my room is kind of a mess. I clean it and then it gets, becomes a mess within days. But, um, so just as sort of getting things out of the way, I thought I'd show, you know, one, make a few videos and show what I've been putting together recently. So, let's start with this guy here. So, um, if you don't know, I am a huge fan of Arduinos. And one of the things I like to do is I, I like mashing hardware together with them. And recently I acquired a, a couple of things. Number one uh, being something called a um, LCD SPI backpack uh, from Adafruit.com, which is basically allows you to take the eight or so pins needed for an LCD screen and turn it into four. Two for power and two to control the LCD over SPI. Or is it IC2? Uh, one of the two. Anyways... So I've gotten that, and I've also gotten an old PS2 keyboard, which, you know, I haven't, I haven't had one for quite a long time. Not one that I could use as a spare. So, I went a little looking online, and I found out that someone has created a library to interface an Arduino with a keyboard. And I thought this was, thought this was really cool, considering I also recently got a couple of XB units, so that thought, hey, maybe we could make some wireless sort of deals. You know, wireless text transfer, because cell phones don't exist. Um, <laughs> so what we have here, let me just uh, plug in the ground. There we go, let's just, there we go. Power is in, turns on the LCD, let's get a, in here, wrote this quick little thing here, keyboard test. Now, it used to, what it want, what the program that came with the library wanted to do originally was to send the keyboard inputs through serial. I thought that was kind of a bummer. So... What I did was I rewrote it a little bit and had it put it onto this lovely LCD panel. So let's do a quick test. I'm about to push the F key. Let's get it in here. F. There we go. It doesn't delete doesn't really work. It just pops up the delete key. But let's hit enter for a new line. There we go. So it works pretty well. Then I kind of had this other idea. Um, and I'm kind of working on this. This is what I have so far. Uh, it's battery powered. It's wonderful. Uh, but what I'd eventually like to do with this is... Let's set this up here. Ah. So what I'd eventually like to do with that is to be able to make a, um, a serial interface for uh, Linux servers that are headless, basically. They have no monitor, no keyboard, no mouse. And yes, I know it'd be much simpler to just SSH into a server, but where's the fun in simple? Um, another great application of this keyboard is that what you effectively have is 100 and, uh, 108 buttons now that you can use for a robot. So, um, you'd probably want, you wouldn't want the robot to have a keyboard attached to it because that'd be kind of heavy and impractical. So you'd probably want to control it over XB or some other wireless protocol, maybe Bluetooth or even over the internet, Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I've built. That's one of the things I built. I've also built a robot and a lovely thing to use uh, the Wiimote for the game Wii Sports Resort, the, uh, the flyover feature, which is for planes. Um, but I'll, I'll show those in another video. But for now, here's that. 